Good morning. <laughs> Somebody decided that 8 a.m. was a good time to start cutting limbs off their trees. The loudest <laughs> hacking chainsaw sound is going on outside right now. I feel bad for anybody who's hungover because it is, well, nobody should be hungover on a Friday. I mean, who knows? Look at how icy white my hair looks. <gasps> I had a like purple color corrector in the shower and uh, it worked really well. Which is great because I'm about to pack and leave. We're going on a trip. We're going on a trip. We're going to Portland, Oregon today. Uh, I cannot wait to see our Airbnb. It looks so cool. It is called, let me find it. We're staying at the Tuscan Villa in Oregon. So the whole place is set up to look like an Italian villa in Tuscany. I'm pumped pumped if we can't go to tuscany we can at least feel like we're there does this is this the vibe is this what we're going for outfit the little crop top here bomb on sunglasses my h m multiple chain necklace which always is a tangled jumbled mess we're ready for our tripping. You're supposed to be in your seat like your sister. They're not buckled in yet. <laughs> well, we are at our very first rest stop. We're about halfway there. Um, we stopped and got our usual impossible sandwiches from Starbucks. Those things are so good. And Lyle tried one for the first time and it was like, okay, I'm gonna get these instead. They're like better than the meat ones, I think. So good. And then I got a brown sugar oat milk coffee and it's so tasty. Um, but yeah, we're just on the way. So far so good. We're here. We're here at the Tuscan Villa. It's really cute. Oh my gosh, you guys are really dark. Hang on. I know, he'll be back. He's just getting luggage, babies. He's just getting luggage. <sighs> He's, look, they have banana palms everywhere. This place is adorable. If you look out here, there's a fountain right there and little seats. I'm definitely gonna go out there tonight with like a fake beer or something and just enjoy myself. <laughs> but how cool, it's a pretty busy road but most hotels we stay in have busy roads, you know? It actually is like a legit hotel, there's another spot here. So even though it's an Airbnb, they have like three or four little spots. So yeah, I'll show you the outside of the grounds. Full length mirror, a gal needs her mirror, and then the bathroom has one of those shower heads that like rains down on you. So here's a reminder to know the life that's pouring into you. So my friend, let me tell you once again, and you know that it's true. Forget about seeing it. people day one outfit we're going to the Tabor Mountain for a dog walk we're going to the grocery store for some supplies and since this is an Italian themed villa we thought Italian food it is
rolling up on my apartment that I lived by myself with Boogie right here. Whoa. Ay, ay, ay. I don't remember the roads being so narrow. They're actually really cute. It looks like a motel, but inside they're like really vintage. Little squares of little kitchenettes. Nice closet. I loved it. Oh my God, you guys. We <laughs> just walked around the Tabor Park a little bit, but it's really, really hot. And these guys are like panting their heads off. So we didn't go to the water reservoir area yet. I think we're gonna save that for tomorrow when he gets back from getting tattooed. Um, so he, we're at Whole Foods right now and he's running in to get some provisions, basically fake beer so we can sit outside and drink it and then some waters, you know, things like that to just have in the fridge. Um, and then we're gonna go get Italian food. Yum, salmon penne, garlic bread. I think there's plates here too. And then we've got these lovely desserts that have fallen over. Oh no, they're upside down. Boo. We have come for a little walk to the store. And it's really close. It's like two blocks. And so we're getting coffee creamer. Because I was like, oh no, she cannot <laughs> go without coffee creamer. I feel like this lighting doing it for me. It's like showing every bit of texture on my face. I think I've aged 25 years driving around Portland today. It's so stressful. Is it just me? I don't know. We were just like struggling. <laughs> but after this we're gonna go relax and then I'm gonna have some of my cannoli that we got. Yeah. Update. Walking for breakfast. Where are we going? We're going to the Artisan Bakery. I can't remember the first word. Anyway, we got up pretty early, 6.45 a.m. to a dog squirming around, needing to go out. <laughs> humping your arm. Did he wake you up humping you? <laughs> Wow, yeah. The houses in this neighborhood are just so cute. I forgot how all the trees in Portland look very much like South Carolina. Like they're old. I don't know what type of tree that is. But they have the same vibe as South Carolina does. Huh? Really? These kind of old, kind of cottagey looking houses. Certain lots, you're like, whoa, that kind of I love that. I do love that. Like these houses are so cute. I mean, very similar to Washington and like Tacoma houses, but these are, I guess maybe it's flatter. I don't know what the difference is. Anyway, I'm going to go get a quiche and a coffee. Here's the little bakery. It's only a couple of blocks away from where we're staying and it smells absolutely delightful and no one's here so I'm hoping we can just sit outside. I wanted to share the correct eyeliner with you guys because it came, well I went and got it um, and it does come in the liquid eyeliner pen as opposed to a gel pencil. This box is pink and the pencils are red. If anybody is wanting to try the one size pencils. I got nervous for a second because the girl, I opened it to see the product and then I realized it was the wrong product and closed it and she for a second there looked like she wasn't going to take it back and I was like, I didn't touch it. But just because the box had been like open, I don't know, but they took it, thank God. Uh, here's what it looks like. It's red, cool red pen. This will be easy to find in my box of liquid liners but I wanted to compare it to the drugstore Maybelline one that I just got. So let's give it a little go. Again, this is Patrick Starr's makeup company. It's nice. And it's not fine hairs, it's felt tip.
so far I think that I like that when it dries it looks like it dries really matte which you know how liquid liner always has a little bit of a shine to it it doesn't do that if I wasn't on vacation and wanting photos I would wear the other one on the other side and compare them I'm probably gonna do that sometime next week as a little trial but look at that actually I really do like it so I love this <laughs> I'm gonna do the other side and then I'll be right back to tell you what we're doing the remote was working totally fine last night and then it stopped working on the uh, channel that's playing Christmas in July <laughs> and I'm honestly not mad at it like if I were to pick any channel for it to get, get stuck on that one's not too bad because then I'm like sorry babe we're just gonna have to watch Christmas movies <laughs> got no choice the place is really great it was so quiet to sleep here last night like everything was just so peaceful I was worried about the road being kind of loud but the fan is drowning everything out so you can't even hear there's an even bigger fan in the corner that things like a jet engine but they have AC so it stays nice and cool in here and uh, the dogs slept through the night no problems I was worried about that too like gosh if I have to get up in the middle of the night and like let them out they're gonna bark everybody's sleeping but it went really well there's a lot of rats like a lot so if you're somebody who is like squeamish when it comes to rodents not your place stay far far uh, they don't bother me because they the moment you make any noise or even like step on the ground and they can feel your vibration they scurry but there's a family I think of rats there's about like four that keep kind of just walking around and they like hang out in the koi pond and they're running around out front and my dogs are just like staring at them to me it's the same as a squirrel rats are a little bit more disgusting I guess they have like you know they come with like a bit more of a stigma than a cute little rabbit or a little squirrel. I don't think that's something you can really avoid when you live in Oregon or in Portland because I remember where I lived we had the same thing so I thought that was just what Portland is like it's just like rat city you know like the gloominess and the moss and just you know there's just overgrowth of greenery everywhere you turn so yeah there's gonna be rats I mean you'd have to Put out some significant traps everywhere to avoid it and there's just so much foliage foliage i was thinking about walking it down they're about like a little bit less than a mile from here thrift store and it looks pretty awesome it's called the arc thrift store and it's one of those ones kind of like the one in gig harbor where everything's priced just by what it is so instead of pricing it by the value it's $4.99 flat rate for shirts, $7 flat rate for dresses. It's a fundraising place, so they raise money for um, people with IDD, intellectual and developmental uh, dis disabilities. So it's for people with disabilities intellectually and developmentally. Um, so it goes towards helping them. It's raising money, so it's a nonprofit. So I love supporting stuff like that. Those are my favorite kinds of thrift stores and a lot of times you can find just random little gems. So I thought I'd pop down to that because you know that's kind of what my whole point of being here in Portland is, is that I wanted to be able to get out and hit a few thrift stores. Tomorrow we're talking about going to the Pearl District and there's a really amazing thrift store there. I can't hit too many because I don't have a car. So I can't do a whole lot of thrifting while I'm here without a vehicle. Lyle has left to go get tattooed. We're so grateful that artist was actually able to fit him in earlier. So he went in earlier so he can just knock it out and get back. And then that way we have the rest of the day. So that's really good. Cause at first it was like smack dab in the middle of the day. So that like we didn't have much we could do in the morning and didn't have much we can do in the evening. Now we'll have the whole afternoon and evening. I think as long as this tattoo doesn't take forever. Look at this house that is for sale. Oh my gosh. Wow. I'm just doing a little walkabout and I just walked through a neighborhood of the most beautiful classic homes. A lot of like, like the 70s era type homes, but this one is so special. I'm going to look up on Redfin. I just like re-downloaded the app. 650 is how much that house is. Okay, I need to figure out where I'm going. I kind of went the wrong way, but I'm glad I did because these houses have been really, really fun to look at. Now, let's get back to my walk. 
and I have stumbled into a tiny little downtown area called Montevilla, which sounds somewhat familiar. So I'm wondering if there's something over here that I'm going to <laughs> have a flashback. Union Rose, I'll hit that on the way back. So many cute little shops in this area. I'm so glad I walked down here. Look, made it, woo. -hoo. I don't know what these are, but wow. Look at how cute the Tuscan Villa looks from down here. <laughs> I made it. That was quite the sweaty walk up hill. But it looks so cute from down here. It even has little lights on the trees. <laughs> Very cool. This was the first one that I saw and grabbed. Jurassic Park is so hot right now, you guys. It's so hot right now. <laughs> I love that this is already like weathered and worn in and it says Jurassic World size medium. Um, I will try to wear this a few times and I might keep this for myself just because I really love it but we'll see how it looks on me and you know that whole thing. What do you guys think? Very nice. And this one still has a tag on it like it's not been worn and this is by fun to fun I just really like the color it's mustard and it has tiny little raccoons all over it I'm not usually one to wear tiny animals on me but there's something about this that I really like and the feel of it and the like just the look of the wear it has a really long body so that it looks like it'd be really nice over yoga pants with just some slip-on sneakers so this is definitely something I'd probably wear more in the autumn season but um, yeah brand new shirt love the look of it just like the style okay I love it it fits up here but it's just a little bit tight like around this part I think it's supposed to get it's really nice like if you had on yoga pants with it that would be so nice and how random it's gonna be a store one i thought i would keep it for myself at first but it doesn't fit me that great i would say this is a size medium so i was thinking it was a large but that's a medium so who wants it and then this one this was just weird and if something's really weird i usually end up really liking it the belt what a smart way to save a belt can we just give them a shout out for this the belt they just put it through the tag. That's so smart. I'm doing it at the store. It has snake interior and then these cut out pieces throughout it. And then it's got, again, with these embellished cutouts. And that has this collar, same thing. And then it zips up and belts. I'm dying to know what this looks like on. It's just strange all right now here's that weird blue jacket thing i just love this detail on it <coughs> Come to fighting. i love this thing this one i'm keeping for myself for a little while just because it's so weird and i love weird clothes i don't know if i would keep it sit probably down a little bit and then underneath you can just see a little bit like it's too short to wear it as a dress so I would have to wear like a mini skirt or something, which I think would be cute. I think with jeans, it would be too, um, a little bit too modest if I wore jeans with it, but I think a mini skirt would be really cute. So hopefully you guys can see in here because I can't tell if the lighting is good or not. This thing is rad. This is my store in a purse. Kind of in love with it. It's got this gold tassel on the zipper and then this handle here i just love this this is like minimalism boho like just it's so good and then this one again with it being brand new has the tag still on another brand that i need to look up it looks like somebody tried to sell this for 50 bucks the tags and stuff to me read boutique that extra extraness, like what's this extra thing just to make it look more, it's just, it's cool. I don't like it, I like it. It's very boho baggy and the pockets, look it. Okay, so do you, 
Yeah, you wear the buttons in the back because the pockets are in the front. So the buttons go down back. I think this is cool. It's just got a neat design to it. it just looks, looks almost luxury. 100% linen. This is a nice quality top. I can tell. I always, my eyes, I can always tell when the gal at the store, so I chatted with the gal who was working at Wink forever. And when she asked me what, if I sold vintage, I said, yeah, I said, I've got vintage. I wish I had more of it, but you know, when I'm out thrifting, it's finding out, I'm finding it harder and harder to come by vintage. I mean, it depending on what you consider to be vintage. So 20 years is supposed to be vintage clothing, which means that like the nineties, but it's hard for me to see something from 1999 and call it vintage, <laughs> like even though it's considered. But for me, when I say vintage clothing, I'm thinking, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, even early 90s, 40s obviously, but anything past that, not really. And I just feel like there's so many people doing thrift that it's really hard to come by, slim pickings. So I want to be able to branch out and still have fun and sell things that I just think are nice. So I guess I'd be more boho vintage, perhaps. So it totally looks like I'm wearing a paper bag and I don't care. I love this. I love this. It was in the triple XL section. So I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to look in that section, but I always do. Cause I don't know, you know, I don't know what I'm going to find. And so I look in every size cause I'm not also looking just for me. I'm just looking for cool stuff. And I love this. And it's like my color. I love like neutrals, white, tans, neutrals my jam um, I think I'm gonna get dressed and go take some photos maybe out in the little area here tonight gotta give the food update we got DoorDash vegan burgers Woohoo! I got the classic American and Lyle just got something that I'm really jealous of pickles tempeh bacon <laughs> then he got tots I got fries two oh, babies in a poof <laughs> Oh, can I show my people uh, your tattoo? <laughs> this is, this. I should have shown them what you had before. If anybody's wondering what I'm talking about, it's this. <clears throat> I'm zooming in on your boob. <laughs> it's cool. Like I thought you were just getting a, like a little patch. He like made it go down your body. Did you know you were getting that far? Yeah, he said it would take away from it being a cover up. Ah, so it looks more like an intentional. I get that. That's really smart. It's good. Mm -hmm. it's like now you gotta fill in all these gaps. Yeah, he said I, I kind of left it open if he wanted to, if I want to continue it now. Weaving it in. And he's moving out here. He's moving out here, so I might just have him. He's so fast. Two hours. Yeah, he can do all that in like no hour, time. Hour and a half, probably an hour and a half. Mm-hmm. Cool. Good morning from the, what is this place called? <laughs> Just calling it the Villa. I can't remember. I've got a migraine, you guys. I've had one all morning. But you know, you're gonna take lemons and make lemonade. We're just gonna um, try to enjoy the rest of our day before we head back. But uh, yeah, <laughs> it's been an adventure. Yeah, we've gotten some good things out of it and then some stress. So I'm going to be honest, it wasn't the dream weekend of respite that I had hoped for. But you can't always get what you want, as we were told by whoever sang that song. Is that Bob Dylan? Rolling Stones? Mick Jagger said that right. Oh God. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go to the Tabor and go to the reservoir, which we haven't done yet, and just get a couple of photos. And then we're talking about going to the thrift stores. 
but I have got such a horrible headache that if the traffic is really bad getting there, not traffic, but just the journey, I don't know if I can handle it, to be completely honest with you. So we'll see how it goes. We gave these guys some CBD in hopes that they kind of remain a little calm because the barking, I can't hurt my head. I don't want to seem ungrateful. I'm grateful that we're able to come here and take this trip. So, and the thrifting part was the entire highlight. And we had a really lovely evening walk after dinner. That vegan food was so good. It was so good. While I was in the shower, dogs are CBD <laughs> dosed. And uh, we're packing up and getting out of here. And uh, I can't sleep on a queen bed. I sound like such a diva, but with two dogs, and him and me with my just sleep issues, tossing and turning, and a slice of the bed that's tiny is challenging. I can't wait to get my king bed back. <laughs> Sounds like such a diva. I can't sleep at a queen. I just can't. It sucks. Goodbye, Tuscan Villa. It's been real. That's downtown Portland. The reservoir is completely empty. That's too bad. And then here's the park. Hey, there's water in that one. Uh-uh. He's absolutely out of control right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's another castle. Be fun job for an electrician. Hey, look, this is that bend I did, but on the bigger scale on the chimney. Ooh, fancy, Marvin. You need to go into meditation and yoga. Are we still gonna go to Pearl District? I don't know. Do you feel like it? Not really. <laughs> what do you feel like? I do and I don't, but I really want to go see that thrift store. that we were thinking about saying is right on that side on the waterfront that one was gonna be spins Portland downtown Portland home Lyle's giving the dogs a bath I don't know what it is about walking them around Portland but they got filthy they also have sap all over their feet from walking through a like huge pine needle overgrowth on the sidewalk that was like near the place we were staying so we went through it every day and we couldn't figure out why at the end of the day they were like both pulling on their feet and i was like it's from walking that one path <laughs> duh really quick drive the funny thing is we were supposed to go to another thrift store we were heading there it's downtown we're on our way i have a migraine today so i'm kind of not thinking straight i'm directing through the gps and the road that we were on kept like, like the GPS kept glitching. And so we would go left and then it would say go right and then we'd go right and it would say go left and it was just like, oh my God, we were both about to just lose it. And then <laughs> we were supposed to be taking a left to get onto Burnside and it was gonna take us into the Pearl District and it put us on the interstate and it said Seattle. And we were like, dead quiet, neither of us said a thing and we just kept going. <laughs> And we just headed straight home. Not a thing, not a word said. I think I might have said, bye thrift store. <laughs> and we just went. And my head was hurting so bad. Lyle was pumping gas. I went into the gas station to go to the bathroom and grab snacks. And when I came out, he had moved and I didn't know it. And the car that took his spot looked just like him. And I got into the passenger seat. The woman inside the car screamed. No, oh! like she thought, I think she thought she was being like hijacked. And I was like, migraine headache fuzzed, couldn't really see, holding all my snacks. <sighs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> it sucked. Is that a clean bean? Oh, look at that clean bean. That's the cleanest little bean. <laughs> oh, honey bunny. <laughs> Want uh, me to dry him off? Sure. <laughs> you dry? No, not yet. Good boy. Oh, so much better. 
Anyway, I took some uh, Excedrin migraine. It's helping a little, not too much. So I'm gonna end this video. I hope you guys enjoy this kind of like really short, quick weekend. I'm so sorry I didn't get to go thrifting more. I didn't feel very good. <laughs> Ongoing migraines. Um, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you.